Peace and blessings, everyone. This is a video response to Fuck YouTube and also to Why Do You YouTube, which are videos that are posted by 305636. Did I get that right? Yes, I did. I try to remember that. Okay. Why do I YouTube? The simple answer is to bring truth. The difficult answer is to bring truth. The glorious answer is to bring truth. The miraculous answer is to bring truth. And how do I do that, you say? One is speaking truth. Showing truth. Loving truth. With all my mind, heart, soul, and effort. And also by way of my political party, my company, my ministry. In response to your uh, the comments you made in the uh, fuck YouTube video, you know about us blacks coming together and having somewhere to go other than YouTube. I have a place for that. I have a lot of things. I have a company, CDB Holdings, and to the side I put a link for my company, my political party, and my ministry website. My company is, I started to get out for the purpose of getting out my ideas that I have. And actually, at the same time I'm doing this, um, my company website and my political party website have been redone. So I asked them to go check those out. They were both Flash-based websites, but now they're HTML-based. So if you've been to before, then that's, that's the only changes. They're now HTML-based. So they're more readily accessible by people who don't have high-speed uh, Internet connections, which, of course, wouldn't be the people that's here on YouTube because you got to have high-speed. But anyway, I asked them to go check that out. Um, my company, like I said, is to get out my ideas and at the same time to do the things that I believe need to be done uh, in this world as far as helping people and providing for people and then specifically my black people I have big plans big plans but I I'm hesitant to talk about them, to speak of them, reason being, and I know, you know, the day is saying, you know, you, you know, you got to speak it and put it out in the universe for it to happen, you know, but I'm so tired of people speaking about what us blacks need to do. I mean, you can go anywhere and, and find someone who's talking about, who will talk about what we need to do as a people. But the thing is, the truth is, we must not be doing it. Or we're, we're not doing it as a whole. There may be spots here and there, but we're not doing it as a whole. You can't just open your mouth and talk the talk. You can't just move your feet and walk the walk. You can't I'm going to bend your fingers and work it. What it is. Not one person doing each. We all have to come together, those who can do each of those, and work together. Now, I, I question what has 
Jesse Jackson done, Al Sharpton done, all our so-called leaders. When you look at the big picture, big scheme of things, sure there's been things here and there, but as a whole, what has been done for us blacks? What is the truth of why we are still at the bottom of the totem pole? Whether it's worldwide or specifically here in the United States, we're at the bottom. We're at the bottom of any category, whether it's education, um, uh, wages, job wages, diseases. We're at the bottom. Why is that? Is it because of the man? The man? Is it because we just not doing anything? Is it because we're cursed by God? Shout out to the Hebrew Israelites, you know what I'm saying? But there's a truth to that. And like I said, and it's just it's it's constantly people talking about how we need to come together and what we need to do, but it's not being done. And so like I said, that's I'm I'm hesitant to speak of things I want to do need to be done because I don't want to be just another person out there talking about what needs to be done, what we can do. Because I mean, it's it's obvious what we can do, what we have the ability to do. What can happen if we come together as one? The numbers speak to them, speaks for themselves, and I'm talking, I'm talking financially. The numbers are there. We bring together our wealth. We are well, like the ninth, ninth largest nation in the world, um, as far as you know, money-wise. Uh, I can't think of the correct financial term. But you know what I'm saying, and so. That is known, but yet still, we don't do anything. So, if you want somewhere to go, I have a, a website. That's part of my company. It's called eyewitnessnews.tv. It's a website where you can go and upload, upload videos, just like here on YouTube. Uh, but the added benefit is, if you get some, you know, some, uh, some material that I can't think of the word. Some material that um, I can't think of the word. Anyway, you can put it up for auction. All right. So you think it's something that's that that a publication or a newscast want to buy? It, uh, then you can put it up for auction. Okay. Or you can just put regular regular videos. The only thing is, is it doesn't allow for uploading of MP4 formatted video yet, I guess because you know how to how to be a little bit skimpy on getting it set up. You know, it costs a lot of money, but you can upload. Actually, right now I have video of an interview with me and Most Deaf that took place down in Gina, Louisiana, for Gina Six. So you can go check that out. But that's a place where we can go, and at the same time, you know, it's black owned, and if we're able to make it grow the way I want to see it to grow because you know this is just basically sort of like a beta but it's there is it's op is operational operational you can go there and, and you know builds up it's going to benefit us in the long run because that's what I'm going to use it for to benefit us but we got to go there and do that you got to tell your, 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 your brothers, your sisters, your cousins, Pookie, Ray Ray, and them. Just go there. Put some videos on there. The more people, more of us, more people we get going there. The more attention it gets, and it can, it can, I can build it the way I see. I really, I, I really have big plans for it. Um, to cover an area that that's, that's not being covered yet with all these websites, right? So. You have to worry about your, you know, what's going on in neighborhoods. You can you can put up there by by way of a, of a zip codes, you know, for local news. Do that. Talk about what's going on in your hood. Put up there and put up there by zip codes, and then people in, people in the neighborhood can see what's going on. Talk about the good, the bad, and everything. All right. So I think that's it. I think I covered what I want to cover. I actually watched the video yesterday. So I probably should have watched it today to make sure I want to cover everything I want. But and that's it. God bless. Peace and love.